I'm Patrick Brown, Director of McKay, the Michigan Association of Community and Adult Education. And I'm so honored to be here today to recognize the Adult Education Champion from Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Over the last year, the Governor's Administration in Michigan has made significant investments in adult skill building and integrated education and training. And we've appreciated being a part of those conversations. Most importantly, what the governor has decided to do is to invest in families all across Michigan, increasing access and opportunity for the most vulnerable populations in our state. And we're excited as the McKay Association because those investments have been directly related to adult skill building. The Futures for Frontliners Pathway 2 program was an expansion opportunity that provided uh, high school completion, high school equivalence completion, and post-secondary transitional service opportunities to a population that never had that opportunity before. And so we were so excited that the governor announced that expansion of that programming. Governor Whitmer has been a continued champion for our organization and for adults all across Michigan, especially with her announcement of a 60% by 2030 campaign. 60% of Michiganders having a post-secondary or other credential by the year 2030. Adult education is an important part of that programming, and the governor has indicated that this population should be included in future investments and in future programming through the Department of Education and the Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity. Thank you, Governor Whitmer, for your continued support of McKay and of adult learners all across our state. Hi, I'm Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I'm honored to receive the Champion of Adult Education Leadership Award from the Michigan Association of Community and Adult Education. I proudly accept this award on behalf of all the incredible Michiganders who are pursuing their passions and all the state employees, professors, administrators, and staff who work hard every day to help others achieve their potential. Back in 2019, I set our state's 60 by 30 goal to have 60% of working age Michiganders earn a post-secondary education or skills credential by 2030. When we started, we were at 45%. Thanks to the incredible progress we've made over the last two years, even though we had a global pandemic, we're at 49.1% today. So we're making progress. We have a lot more to do. Right now, my administration and LEO, led by Director Susan Corbin, they're laser focused on continuing our economic jumpstart, creating good paying jobs, and helping every family, community, and small business thrive. But it's never been more clear that in order to make a living wage anywhere in Michigan, you need more than a high school diploma. By the end of the decade, Michigan will have over 1,400,000 high wage jobs that'll require a post-secondary credential with over 116,000 openings projected every year. That's why I established Futures for Frontliners and the Michigan Reconnect to put more Michiganders on a tuition-free path to post-secondary education or skills training and help them fill those jobs so they can support their families. The demand for Reconnect and Futures for Frontliners statewide is already helping employers and community colleges build the pipeline to fill high demand, high wage careers in every region of the state. Between these two programs, we now have over 165,000 applicants who want to take that next step towards fulfilling a career path and they're ready to pursue a certificate or degree. These programs would not have been possible without effective partnerships between my administration, the legislature, and countless outside stakeholders, including employers, labor, workforce development, economic developers, and higher education. This is an issue that is important to all of us, and together we are putting more Michiganders on a path to long-term prosperity. If we keep working together, we can usher in a new era of prosperity for our families. I'll continue to work hard to deliver meaningful change that makes a real difference in people's lives. 
I want to thank you once again for recognizing me with this award. I'm humbled to accept it and so proud to serve as your governor. <music>